The trade spat between the U.S. and China is making many question the future of manufacturing in China. Now, some worry that the country will be priced out of the manufacturing game amid the prospect of perhaps more tariffs and higher wages. But as Weidu reports, Chinese manufacturing might just become stronger as one company, for example, turns to technology to improve efficiency. The making of a basic men's shirt involves 53 fitly processes. And here is shirt maker at Scal. The work is repeated a mind-boggling 100 million times a year. The Hong Kong company is the world's biggest shirt maker, supplying brands from Ralph Lauren to Muji. In an industry with a reputation for chasing cheap labor, half its garments still carry the Made in China label, even as Chinese workers increasingly demand higher pay. Part of the reason is sentimental. I have no intention of telling my grandchildren that they make their lives work built on people who are poor to start with and stay poor. Mm. Wouldn't you rather say that we had a very good ride because we took a lot of people and their standard of living improved? The stark reality, though, as China's labor force shrinks, it's increasingly hard for companies such as SKL to find enough young people who are willing to do the backbreaking work. So now it has to hold on to older workers whose eyesight and dexterity simply do not compare to 20-year-olds. To compensate for that, the company has turned to robots, with 77 percent of its processes fully or partially automated. These Israeli-made cameras, adapted from military technology, scan the fabric for defects, freeing humans from the most mind-numbing work. But many of SKL's technology is developed in-house from the collaboration between engineer Brother Ming and former seamstress Sister Yen. Their first patent came in 2011 for this semi-automatic machine that sews the tiny triangle at the end of the sleeve placket. The company still has more tricks up its sleeves, machines that automate three processes all in one go. With more automation, the demand on workers is changing. As Gao says, the handiwork is now secondary. Instead, it's more important for workers to be comfortable with technology. And surprisingly, it's found that employees who are good with smartphones, even for playing video games, are also better at operating machines. For that reason, its factories now employ 20 percent male workers, compared to almost none at all when it first started 40 years ago. But that is not to say Escal has found the answer to the side effect of automation, even as the company stresses that the machines are not there to replace jobs, it's often opted not to replace the employees who leave. Marjorie Yang says she hopes the workers who leave can take with them their newfound confidence with technology, a skill she says will serve them well even in the uncertain future. We do. Channel News Asia, Hong Kong.